I recently had the honor of being a guest on Don't Tread on Anyone, uh, Keith Knight's show on Odyssey. I think he also puts it on, uh, what's the old-fashioned thing? I forget, like Atari, or not Atari, YouTube. It's on the way out because it's a, a highly uh, uh, regulated, you know, censorous-type platform. But Odyssey is where you can find Don't Tread on Anyone with Keith Knight. But anyway, he, was, uh, he had a show, uh, and he was nice enough to have me on. And one of the comments that someone left brought up an interesting point, and I actually plan at some point to do a video talking about the whole comment that the person left. It was really a pretty smart comment. Probably some areas I disagree with, but it was it was a smart comment. And I wanted to pick just one little part of that and chat about it today. And the, the idea is, this goes back to uh, uh, morality being subjective and the things in life that are subjective. And the thought that the person had was that it is in someone else's best interest to do blah, blah, blah. We're going to call it A. And it made me really start to think about whether or not I am qualified to judge what is in someone else's best interests. So there was a guy some years ago I'm thinking about. He'd been diagnosed with cancer, had some treatment, decided enough was enough. And he was looking at just many more months of withering away and kind of with his wife's hesitant blessing and another relative, he took a walk in the woods, never to come back. And some a year or two or three later, his bones were found. But up until that point, he had just disappeared. And I thought, what if I had come across this guy walking in the woods? And I said, hey, man, how are you doing? Beautiful day out. And he had said, yeah, it is a beautiful day. I'm really treasuring this moment. I said, what are you up to? And he says, well, I'm fixing to go and kill myself because, uh, yeah, I'm kind of headed on the way out anyway, and I'm going to take it into my own hands and kind of take care of business. And then I might say, well, that's not in your best interest to do that. But if I said that to this man, what would that be implying? It would be implying that I knew what was best for him. Then I would choose life, let's say rather than what it is that he wanted. So let's look at the top values that might make me make that choice. What if my top values were things like um, life being important, um, sticking around for family and friends because they deserve every second with you possible, like they have that claim on your life, um, that suicide is morally wrong. Let's say those were some of my top values. And then let's say this, this guy's top values were not draining life savings that he and his wife had worked 30 years to, to build up so that they could both retire, in this case now just her, um, not being in horrible pain and putting his wife through all the stress of three years of waiting, is today going to be the day he dies, et cetera, et cetera, um, and being in control of his own life. So what if those were his three top values and I had my top three values? Would I be in any position to tell him what was in his best interest? What if we had that conversation and then, I don't know, magically he became unable to speak and I had to speak for him? Could I? Could I beyond simply saying what this guy said he wanted, his last desires were, A, would I have a right to say, no, I intellectually think, based on my personal values, that his best interests are living, waiting for a, a cure for cancel, cancer? Because obviously the pharmaceuticals really want that. BS. Would that be my best thing? No, I, I don't think I could say that. I don't think that any of us can definitively make choices for other people. We can certainly offer advice. If the guy had said, hey, do you think I should hang on a little bit longer, another month, and see if there's a better medication that might come available? Then I could definitely say, hey, man, I think so. Um, or, hey, I don't have any advice to give you. Do what you got to do. I, I say whatever I wanted. But for me to kind of make him do something or to try to engineer his life in such a way, for me to call the suicide hotline behind his back and have them come out and stop him, that wouldn't be right, would it? I really think that I can't tell what is in someone else's best interests. Now, I can guess what their desires are. I can guess what their highest values are. Are a person's highest values truly in their best interests? According to who? 
them? What if they are really, truly an idiot? What if they say, no, my best interest is me having fun for the next five minutes and I'll deal with the consequences. I want to, I don't know, go motorcycling down this rock face that is impossible to do. Should I say, hey, you're kind of being an idiot. You're not allowed to do that. I'm going to hold on to you. I'm going to kidnap you so that you don't do this because I think my value of you being alive for more than five minutes is a higher value. And because you're so stupid and can't see the consequences, I have a right to control your body. I don't think so. Do you come, do you come up with anything different as you think about this, as you think about these questions? Think about other examples. Is there, is there a time that another person can choose what is in someone else's best interest? Or is that not possible? I don't know. Please leave your comments below. And by the way, for those of you who like uh, Four Peaks beer, those are the Four Peaks there. I'm in uh, Arizona right now. It's one of my favorite parts of the Rocky Mountains. Well, I've got about 10 favorite parts, but love the whole Rocky Mountain region. Uh, so yeah, if you drink that beer, those are the peaks you're looking at. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. Uh, I look forward to being back in touch with you soon and responding to your comments, either in the comment section or with another video. Love y'all.